Hi, and welcome to the second episode of my 500 threat series around Cassandra. I'm Icon, and Juliet will hopefully survive yet another episode. I can't really uh, promise that. We're working on that, but we're going to see how everything will come together. So last episode, I set up a little, uh, a little comfort uh, zone for myself. Today, I will be aiming a little bit uh, more towards uh, setting up lasting defenses and such. Let's see. So first up, I'm going to cut some stones. There's a lot of uh, stone freely available here and therefore I should I don't think we should be we should be facing any problems around that. <clears throat> All right. Good morning, Juliet. Boomalope self-tamed. Yeah, well, why not? Um, is Juliet even able to uh, train that animal? That's a question here. Minimum handling skill five. Dang. So, um, well. So that Boomalope is uh, just yet another thing I can kite my enemies into. I don't want to mutter about that. There's uh, certainly worse things in life. But, yeah. Not gonna lie, I expected a bit more, <laughs> but that's okay. Beasts are pretty strong, and uh, Juliet has to learn her way around those. So, uh, but my plans right now are pretty simple. I want to set up a few walls, a few walls that force my enemies to uh, walk over my traps, you know. Just a few basic things. Um, let's say the uh, entry to my base lies here. This is very helpful if you want to lure your enemies through uh, through traps when you have some walls to work around. Okay. I'll just uh, do that little small wall down here today and let's see what will happen apart from that. So Juliet, I don't think we got the time to sleep here. And there we go. That's more like it. So let's see. go that's a good first start and those will be done in no time as well um okay she's praying <sighs> yeah if she has to okay next step picking up another uh another uh load of wood and work with that so the question came up between this and the last episode why I keep using wood instead of steel um, for my traps. While steel might be a good short-term solution, um, I don't want to use my steel up for these things. Steel is such a necessary resource for so many different things that I don't want to use it for traps if I'm not living in a... Uh, steel biome basically where steel is just abundant and it's not it's never abundant steel is never abundant unless you're playing in the, with the alpha biomes and you're playing in a uh, mechanoid intrusion then steel is abundant but apart from that steel is basically never abundant now that's why i don't use them for traps yes they might be stronger and such but uh alone mining that uh steel is so much more work compared to um, just cutting some trees. So there we go. But I would use steel if I, uh, if I had to. If that was uh, a last resort measure of mine, then I definitely would use steel for defenses. So let's 
do this a bit like that. Yeah, I like this idea. Here. So I'll funnel my enemies around my actual base. That's not bad. Certainly not bad. Okay. So this area here is pretty soon finished. Let's do this here. It's very important for me that my traps don't uh, hinder my own passage completely. Like, I always feel like I have to be able to uh, pass my own traps. If not, I'm doing it wrong. Just my humble opinion. Okay, so uh, these things have been done. And uh, dear Juliet, haul a few of these uh, things here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, I already got it. So the ideal plan I came up with uh, looks like that here. So there's going to be yet another corridor where my enemies will be uh, blocked at. Very important is also this uh, door here. To make sure that my enemies can swarm easily into my uh, area. but. At the same time, it is providing me a lot of safety and uh, not safety, comfort, because it's way easier now to uh, reach the northern side of the map. All right, still would need to find some light leather for my uh, for my duster. All right, there we go. But so far, Juliet is quite uh, self-sustaining, and her um, milking of the boomalope will train her uh, animal skill one day. Not bad. But I don't think she's uh, able to keep the boomalope before it uh, um, before it gains too much wildness. All right, quite happy though. Um, the only thing. I'm missing is a storage room. So let's do this. Hmm, I could start and build my storage rooms now out of stone. So I think I'm not going to uh, build another structure out of steel. Like I mentioned before, steel is valuable. And I don't like to waste it. Okay, so let's have another sleep. And that base is slowly coming together, so I think I'm going to uh, let a wall run just like here. And uh, all my enemies will be uh, funneled through this area or through this area later. So the Golader people are attacking, two of them. Yeah. So let's check them out. Roman wielding a knife. Pretty powerful. And uh, Amy Arias wielding a gun. Not too powerful. Okay, they're attacking me immediately, so let's see that Juliet is not hungry at least. And then we got a kite. So, let's see. Roman is the biggest threat. Aria, uh, Amy, I can just uh, ambush. Roman, though, if uh, this guy gets a free stab on me. I'll just die, you know. So let's uh, lure him. Whoop de doo, I'm here. And let's just uh, run away. Yeah, he's uh, he's attacking the boomalo. That's great. Let's see. All right, he's attacking the. Uh, Look. 
Okay. There's uh, nothing about these items which I can't replace, you know. So, okay. None of them is uh, dumb enough to fall for my traps so far. Oh yeah, this looks like a twack though. Yeah, Roman got one. So, uh, I need to run now around my own uh, base. Just hope Juliet doesn't get shot. Because Roman is now out of the equation. That guy will just break down quite soon. And I'm pretty sure that I can't wait for Amy here around the corner and stab her down. Oh, she's not that dumb. Okay. So, uh... Let's head over there and, uh... Extinguish the fire on my, uh... On my wind turbine. And, uh... Yeah, Amy... Amy took a wrong turn here. Perfect. Okay, now I feel like, uh... Oh, the boomalope. Dying in two hours, so no. I'm not gonna fight right next to the boomalope. Alright, here we go. Twag. She's gonna die for sure. There we go. Okay, nice. That's the real big issue there, you... Oh, not my wind turbine. Oh, 3 HP. <laughs> it's a real big issue there. Uh, you gotta be uh, defending those. So, uh, I don't know. Is she really able to save that boomalope? The answer is yes. Okay, nice. And uh, Roman is going to die in five hours, yet still. Uh, well... I'd like to capture him, you know? Not sure if that's going to work out, though, or if, if he's just going to die. But uh, I want to give it a try. But I don't think... Yeah, well, never mind, never mind. Five hours and that distance, he's just going to die. Thanks for the neutral means, though, buddy. I, I don't want to take that risk unnecessarily, you know? There's so many things I could do with my time, and, uh, and uh, this guy is most likely just going to bleed to death. Good thing, though, I got that revolver. And uh, firearms are always nice. Maybe I'll just uh, get a quest to... Uh, fetch myself another person into my colony that would be cool right now I'm just very relieved about uh, the fact that I won this fight quite uh, simply here yeah those traps are uh, kicking it you know so Maybe I should give this uh, poor boomalope a sleeping spot and uh, let it sleep there. Okay, so uh, let's haul some stones. Oh, she's pretty hungry. And pretty tired. Well, okay, let's fast forward a bit. <sighs> As much as I would like to uh, set up some research and such, I don't, I don't feel like I got the time or uh, the workforce to spare. So, for now, I'm just waiting uh, until um, there's going to be another person in my uh, colony helping me out, because uh, apart from that, I don't have any clue how I should be uh, pulling it off here. To research at the same time just too many projects to be done so there we go Juliet helping out the boomalope bit again all right the most critical part now will be uh, the face until I got my defenses lined up forcing the enemies into uh, the traps and uh, yeah, what can I say? Building stone walls is uh, a pretty uh, lengthy um, project when you're solo. Yeah. But at the same time, I feel like Juliet is doing a great, great job here. And I'm uh, actually considering um, to bring up a uh, prison quite soon. Because uh, 
that situation there showed me that uh, I could be easily um, just capturing somebody. Her social skills are really bad, but well, well, you know, doesn't mean that you can't try. So, the southern piece of defense is uh, going better here. The Forsaken Nomad. Yeah, Jiminus, get over here. Um, so, 500% uh, pain. <laughs> Sandra, why? Here we go. Oh, that name isn't Lala. Okay. Okay, I got another person now. Jiminus, welcome. I hope you're uh, you're useful. He's able to mine. He's able to haul. He's able to do uh, plant work, and he's able to construct. Yeah, I'd say he is a useful uh, fella. <laughs> But at the same time, he does need a place to sleep. So, let's build another bed. Oh, I don't have any wood left here for the bed. So sad. Well, then let's build it out of steel. Come on. I'm not like that. I'm not such a cheapskate. This'll work, I'd say. Mm, let's build an another little room around that. Yeah, it's pretty nice to uh, have some... Uh, some second guy. There we go. It's gonna help a ton. There we go. So my little refugee friend here has now its own his own room. Her, his. Okay. And the first piece of uh, fortifications is now uh, finally finished too. That's great. So um, let's see. The next wall is uh, going to be this one. Bam! Really important wall. That's maybe one of the most important walls here. All right, so Jiminus can now uh, cut some stones for me. So uh, Juliet is able to work uh, on those walls. Okay, very good. This uh, this gives me some uh, false feeling of safety. So Jiminus is able to shoot. That's good. Well, somewhat able to, but uh, thing is, Juliet is a brawler, and she's going to have a, a severe um, mood penalty if I force her to wield a revolver. You know, so there's some abrosia for me. Well, let's harvest that fully and uh, haul it back home can gaze at those stars back home too. Okay, great. So, uh, come on, take some ambrosia, be happy. So, there we go. Okay, so uh, a false feeling of safety has been achieved. And uh, the next step is finally that storage zone. How about that? Because you really need that. I am not surprised uh, I should be not surprised about Juliet uh, being unhappy if I uh, let her sleep in the store in the storage room you know okay and uh, apart from that I'll need a prison I 
just noticed. So, um, bit by bit we're turning into a real colony. I wouldn't have expected that. So, uh, but let's not to be too happy too early because there's a really very, very decent chance that I have to flee uh, later down the road out of the area. Because, um, well, the thing about 500 threat is it's really hard to survive um, on the same tile for a longer period of time simply because uh, the pressure of the enemies is just increasing so massively. Maybe we're able to hold it off, but I'm not sure that I will be able to. I'm not expecting it. <laughs> you know. Okay, there we go. So, uh, storage zone is now completed. I need more defenses ASAP feel like I already neglected neglected my uh, defense building for a way too long time. So, um, donkeys. Mm, those would be good. Donkeys are really good defenses. They're pretty powerful uh, animals in combat, surprisingly enough. So, let's harvest a few berries up here again. And chop a few trees. There we go. Well, no light for Jiminus. So, uh, Juliet, please haul back home that wood. Because uh, Jiminus will uh, haul back home the rest of, this, uh, of the items. Okay, that's that. Um, I want yet another trap up there. Well, only as soon as the wall is finished, I'd say. Mm. We're gonna need more of those uh, stone blocks, that's for sure. So, just looking if there's a uh, greater, am a larger amount of uh, of uh, marble chunks in the area here. So, Geminus is now on a sad wonder. That's uh, very, very unfortunate, because I can't even. Uh, put her into him into uh, arrest here because if I would um, I would be forcing something on him <laughs> oh my god a plasteel meteorite right now that's not really uh, anything too special because I can't really utilize a uh, plasteel but later it's gonna be useful don't think I'm going to uh, hit that sp hit that point uh, on on this tile though I can't imagine I'm actually uh, considering <coughs> arresting Geminus and uh, trying to recruit him because nobody says that I have to play nice around these refugees. You know, you can't. You're also allowed to just arrest them and uh, take your uh, chances. Really considering that because uh, right now, well, it's not looking that good. You know. I would need to have more more people here. Oh man, that's bad. The commute here is really bad. I I wonder if I should put up uh, more Oh well. I could just uh whip up the kitchen over here. Let's do this. That'll help too. Oops, need that door. So let's dig out some more steel. And obviously I'll need a few more power conduits then. There we go. So let's replace that piece of wall there. Okay, Geminus is back to normal, that's good. Because I really need somebody to haul those uh, items for me. It's really important. Okay. So, I expect another attack quite soon. I 
do expect another attack quite soon. Good thing that my uh, prison is uh, finished then. Okay, these things have been done. Jiminus is uh, considering mining way more important. Okay. Fine. So there we go. Let's reinstall the stove over here. So it's not uh, going to be such a terrible uh, pathing again. There we are. Because I really don't like if uh, cooking has to work like that. <laughs> okay, but, uh, well, not too many things necessary. So, uh, forced weather for pay. Um, fog for 20 days in exchange for Glit World meds and or some hyperweave. The Glit World meds are quite interesting. Ah, uh, yeah, whatever. It's quite simple. Fog is uh, so meaningless but uh glit world meds are quite the lifesaver you know you're always gonna be happy about glitter world meds one day all right let's cut a few stones So, let's see. The defenses are uh, getting done here. Another Ambrosia Sprout. I'm not even, not even gonna harvest that because it will only amp up my uh, colony value and that's uh, nothing I want to risk right now. Alright, let's uh, cut a few more stones. Exotic Goods Trader. Well, ship to the stars. Yeah, don't mention that. So let's see. Sadly, these folks are not buying my Ambrosia stockpiles. Therefore, there's nothing I can uh, trade with those guys. Okay. I was uh, hoping that they would be buying my Ambrosia, but well. Sadly, nope. All right, but at least those walls are get, are getting finished here. That's really good. Because this way I can now force uh, enemies attacking my base through a, at least a few traps, you know. So, things like that. That's gonna help a lot. New lovers. Jiminus and Juliet are now lovers. Yeah, great. So, uh, I really think that I got to, uh, um, abduct Jiminus. <laughs> and, uh, make him a permanent part of my colony. It's basically asking for it, you know. So, there we go. reinstalling a few useless traps here and there putting up a few doors where I feel like they're really necessary just basic things and uh, obviously the berries are necessary too yeah so uh, what to do what to do This is one of those situations where I really think it would be a beneficial to just uh, capture that person. Anyways, friends, it's time to end this episode here. So it's been a blast. And uh, luckily, I'm still alive. And it's looking good that uh, we're going to be able to play through episode 3 too. The only thing I'm really nervous about is this wall here. It's going to be very important too. But yeah, looking at the things how they're going together right now, um, there's so many chunks here. I just need to cut them and uh, turn them into wall and then we're good to go.
and therefore we're there should be not too much of a problem okay friends so thanks so much for watching drop a comment down below leave a like leave a subscribe i'd be super happy so uh enjoy your day see you soon bye bye